to Nat's Knackers Yard. Uh, I'm Nat, this is my Knackers Yard, which is a bit empty at the moment. Um, and this is uh, Kermit, my ongoing project, uh, the ZX6. Um, so what, a well, bit, bit of an update for you. I had hoped to MOT this today. It's fine to MOT. I've done a couple of bits in the week. I'll, I'll, I'll show you those. Uh, it is good to go. Um, the only thing that hampered getting it MOT'd is frankly my own administration. Um, work's been really hectic this week. Um, not all bad, <laughs> some of it pretty good. And had a uh, works function during the week. Um, the end result of which is my car is still at work. Because um, uh, uh, it was quite a boozy one and I got a lift back, uh, which meant that I couldn't go get the zip car, yada, 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 yada. Um, the end result was I hadn't even booked them in for MOT this weekend. I've just had too much on during the week. Um, so what, I think I'm going to change my plan um, and I think I'm going to MOT them separately which means I'll just get temporary insurance and ride uh, so I won't do the zip car and all that sort of stuff which means I can break them up and, and do them whenever so it means that Sting, parked over the back there um, uh, I'll just ride to MOT centre and get him done probably next weekend um, because I've got more time, because I'm not trying to do them together I'm now confident enough in this bike that I'm confident enough to put it through an MOT with its new fairings on. I don't think you're going to have any issues with it, and I don't think I'm going to have to rip them off again. Um, so, this weekend's task, I think, is to get the new panels on it. So, it's going to be strip down what's there, clean all the stuff that's underneath it, because, you know, there is no point putting new panels over dirty frames, so it needs a clean off, it needs um, lots and lots of bits done to it, so, um, the hangers are rusty. It doesn't take a lot to get them clean, so why wouldn't you? Um, worse on this side, because obviously it's the upside when it's on its side stand. Uh, always worse, so they're all rusted and nasty. I can't get that off with the fairing on, so why not take the fairing off, take that off, give it a douche, etc, etc. Um, bits that I've done during the week, uh, just to give you a bit of an update. I can find the keys, there we go put them somewhere safe um, it's early in the morning on a Saturday so I'm not gonna start them up uh, you may well remember the one MOTism that I had a concern with apart from not having a reflector which I now have is um, not having oh, I need to glue that as well is um, the light for the number plate is a bit obscured by this um, custom under plate um, so I've gone for these little bad boys, so these little lights, so they're wired up through and into the rear light, so when you turn on the lights on side light on main beam, and you get these little things glowing, which is pretty cool, and a nice little elegant solution. So that's done. Uh, previous video I sorted out the brake light. works well I just can't get my foot to the pedal um, and didn't really give you a decent look at the lights but the lights look so much better without that horrible mesh shite on them um, so that's gone as well so today I'm going to start stripping down I might start at the back um, because it's easier to stop uh, at any given point um, if we need to go and do stuff or we'll see people and see how we get on um, yeah, so that's that's the aim of the day today. Um, a few other bits going on. Um, there's kind of a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a small crowd of us of, uh, of YouTubers, um, uh, some reasonably local and, and less so. Um, <coughs> so there are a few uh, shout outs to kick around. Um, I think first and foremost, probably uh, Bertie Bodget, who hit his hundred subscribers this week, which um, which really happy with and it wasn't until going through the motorcycle rescue um, facebook channel he pointed out that um he commented on one of my very early videos in fact i think my first video um and i suggested that he, 
you know, saying, why don't you film it, mate? And he did. So I think indirectly I've kind of got him doing it, which was great. Um, and I love, um, I love Bertie's stuff. It's really good watch. And he swears more than I do, which is, uh, which is great. Um, another sort of bit of a landmark is um, DT Motorcycles Essex. And Danny has hit his 500, which is um, very cool. He's done that really quick as well. Um, but some really good stuff there. And he's a top lad too. And um, yeah, Project Clark One Two Three slowly, slowly but surely, is putting his scooter back together, his uh, Aerox back together, um, which is another great watch. But you know, there's, there, there are lots of us that do this, um, and, and I really am routinely uh, amazed, surprised, and really quite happy that quite so many people enjoy watching it as much as we enjoy doing it. So let's get on with it, shall we? Um, and let's see if I can get this back panel off. Um, Kind of the thing that got me started on the panels on this bike was the fact that I've got no front mud guard. I might as well put the new one on. Uh, and it's kind of led me to think, oh, solid, nah, just get on with it and do it. So that's precisely what we're doing today. Let's get this stripped off and see how we get on. Oh, and just before I do start stripping this down too much, uh, having just taken off one bolt, um, two things. I looked down at the chain. The chain is supposedly new, but it is rusty and crappy. Um, but... I do have a split pin, so I think what I'm going to do, probably once I've taken this back off, is just split that chain, whip it off. I've got some old crappy fuel and just leave it to to fez in the crappy fuel for a little while. The one other bit that I forgot to mention was my new brake calipers arrived. So that's on and uh, pretty much uh, difficult to do this bit spazzy. That's on and all set up and working perfectly um, and going back to my last one it's Sean across the middle I've got it over the back there somewhere um, there, might, there was a crack across here me tightening it up just broke it off finally um, uh, and I'm glad that it happened when I had it rather than when I'd got rid of it or moved it on if indeed I ever do I may well end up keeping this <laughs> right I'm going to get on with whipping this back section off Right, so that's the rear tail section off. Uh, it just kind of clips in and drops in, actually, the, uh, um, that custom underpiece, which is nice. Um, so it's chucked over here. I've just got out, I'm not going to touch that because I've got Ming in hands. Um, I just got out the replacement. Um, love it. Um, all looks fine. Looks like it. Uh, looks like we have a match. Um, the rear pegs. I've just whipped off and I just thought I'd, so I've got a little bit of a kind of a before and after. So I have already taken the rust off those, so I should have filmed it before, before um, a couple of seconds on a, on a polishing wheel afterwards. Two seconds. Summoned by my youngest. Uh, yeah, so uh, a couple of seconds on the polishing wheel. I'm not going for showroom shine. You know, I, I'm, I'm, this isn't a restoration. It's just making it look a little bit better. So I'm going to get those done and then just bang them back on. Right, so a fair amount of time later, to be honest, but look at that, that looks freaking awesome, um, I think, in my, in my humble opinion. Um, I purposely didn't film that because I had no idea whether or not it was going to work, and, and it took me too long to film, frankly, but and actually they look really quite good as well with a little bit of polish on them. Um, yeah, I will show more trying to fit the uh, other panels and pieces. Um, I just wanted to do that one off camera and just get used to the idea. Do they fit? Yeah, they fit beautifully, but the build quality ain't great. So the hardest element that I had within that was, uh, where were they? Uh, I've tucked them away now. The hardest element out of it was um, the screws. One of the screw threads had um, uh, effectively all glued up, so I had to use my tap and die kit um, to put it out again. Um, which was, it was not too much of a drama, but it just, you know, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass that you don't really want. Uh, but it fits beautifully. The only bit that um, I had picked up on, it's always interesting when you look at fairings that have come off and particularly look at repairs. So at some point I've got a internal repair there internal repair that looks a lot like my internal repairs and uh, a slightly random one right at the back as well. Um, 
So what, it's had something filled in, really close examination. You just see where the light is hitting there. Um, it's been filled in and painted, um, which anyway is slightly weird, but what it has done is it blanked out one of the um, rear grab handle rail, or rear grab rail um, pieces. And I had to swap the rubbers off the old one as well. Um, so I'll keep an eye out for those and get some rear grab rails for it. But that looks great. The color looks fantastic, uh, really happy. Um, uh, it's gonna be an arse day <laughs> today. Um, and uh, what I'm gonna do next is just start whipping off some of these bolts. We'll see if I can whip them off, he says. <laughs> um, and see how I get on. I also wanna take the cover off or see if I can get the cover off. If I can get the cover off, that means I can uh, get the chain well, not off, it means once I've taken it off, it means whether or not I can get it back on, which is a slightly more crucial element, I think. So let's have a quick look. They look like eight mils to me. Um, not that I'm the best at judging bolt sizes ever. Uh, I might have to do this hunt off camera or just fast forward you. Where the hell have I put that? Come on, that you freaking idiot. Why do all kits stop at 10? Anyone knows the answer to that? Right, and just as the heavens open, uh, I got that off. The observant may have noticed that I dropped my sodding 8mm socket right into there. Uh, what's that? That's a spare hose clip, it's always nice to have. Uh, also noticed that I was short of one bolt on that as well, so I'll replace that. Right, so I can get back in there to do the, uh, to get the chain back on, which is a good thing. So I need to find the split pin again. I know you're here somewhere, because I saw you earlier. See if I can get that off. Let me get some trusty needle nose. Ah, that's got you. That's got you started. There's a real danger of me firing this down my driveway. No, got away with it. Don't lose that, Matt, you moron. Uh, so don't lose which one it was. It should hold it together a little bit better, shouldn't it? Right, how much can you see? Oh, disappearing down the driveway. So, got the loop. Putting them down in the opposite order than I pull them off. to a washerette type things, or O-rings. I should have two O-rings on the back. Yes, I've still got them. Managed not to lose them, and the chain is free. So there we go. I'm gonna put all that back together in the order it come off so that I don't lose them, because I have a terrible habit of just kicking stuff while I'm bouncing around, all excited. Right, 
so let's all held back together. I don't really want to ping it back together because I'll uh, not get it off again without the leverage of the bike to play with. So, and there we have Matt's first chain removal. Never done that before. Right, chain off. I now need to find a little bath to put it in. It's supposedly a new chain. Put, put on new and then just left. So I'm going to find a container, nice wide but shallow one. I've got a load of old fuel and I'm just going to bang it on. Right, and there we go. I haven't actually got as much old fuel as I thought I had. I think I've been using it throughout this whole. Uh, uh, fuel shortage, whatever it was, but again I'm doing, like I do most of my stuff really, I'm doing it from stuff that I've picked up of others, or off Tintra wet, Tintra net, um, but it's doing a great job, I was expecting an overnight soak, but this could just be a quick cleanse. Um, obviously I'm burning through the Johnny gloves today don't normally like wearing gloves when I'm doing stuff don't mind getting my hands dirty but I don't really want to be sticking my hands in fuel <laughs> if I can avoid it and I was using gloves on that tail section just to try and uh, keep as much crap as I could off it couple of minutes. Nice bangers. Let's have a look. Yeah. Right. That's the edges done anyway. So what I'm going to do is stick another glove on because I've only got one on at the moment. Um, just work my way through it onto the side. Right. So there we go. That's the chain looking damn sight better, frankly. Um, I've just dried it off. I'll give it some fresh oil before it goes on. It's just leaving it to dry and let the fuel evaporate off. Um, I'm going to do the same with the rear cog now. It's just grotty. There's nothing wrong with it at all. The teeth are pretty good. Yeah, and front sprocket, ditto. No requirement to change, just get it douched up. Let's do that. Right, there we go. One click clean, quick clean of the cog later, and that looks real, really good. I'm well happy with that. Um, obviously, I've got all my bits of cardboard and everything, so you, you know you mask off the bits that because petrol and paint don't mix particularly well. Um, looking at these, I think this is a new sprocket. I might have to check the ad because look, there's just nothing. You know, there's barely a metal scrape on it. Um, yeah, front isn't new. I might give that a quick clean off and then uh, get oil in and get this chain back on. Right, so that's the chain back on and all good. And I got a bit carried away and forgot to film. I've given the swing arm a quick dose of mothers, but just by hand, it's I'm not going for mirror, but that does look good. What I have done though is I've whipped off uh, all of that and given it a quick clean and literally 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 30 seconds on the polisher uh, it's come up beautifully but i don't want it on you know i'm not going for polished chrome here i'm going for um you know at best take a little bit of abuse and neglect out of it but it's looking good i've got the rear mug guard off um rear yeah yeah the rear mug guard off, just so i can get to the swing arm a little bit right that's kind of an after let's have a look at the other side and i'll, I'll, I'll show you a little bit more of what i'm doing because this side is worse. Um, so that's kind of what it looked like on the before grass uh, glance. It's just tarnished. There's nothing fundamentally um, wrong with it. It's just tarnished. Right. Let's see if I can get these bad boys off. Right, so let's see what we get on with. I'm minging. Let's have a look. How much can you see? Oh, you've got quite a good view, actually.
just knock the worst of it off. Functional but a bit nasty. And that is as good as I want to get it. So nice and clean. Jobs are good. In. Now, what I'm probably going to do is just fast forward you through this. bring you back in here because this bit is a little bit more satisfying when you see a sheet of metal going so that's the before and I'll do this real time because I just want you to see how quick this is Right, so nothing special, just knock the rust off really. Give me a little bit of elbow room, excuse me. Probably not the best of views there, sorry my arm's in the way. all mounted looking considerably better um, I've also whipped out the uh, really ropey rusty uh, bolts and just given them this exactly the same uh, exactly the same treatment a bit of a cleanup uh, a little bit of a cleanup on the exhaust but not a lot um, uh, mug guard back in after a clean as well all is looking good in the hood so if I just frame it uh, yeah that'll be brilliant that love it no, fuck. <laughs> right, so what? Um, that's me for the day. Um, what I am going to do off camera is whip the nose off again so that I can get to the light. I just want to do a bit more tidying up ready for tomorrow when I intend to try and get most of the rest of it on. The one bit the missing from this equation so far is the new fairing screws. I've got them. I just wish I knew where I'd put them. <laughs> They're here somewhere, I'll have a look while I sort everything out. Right, so uh, a lot of effort. That's a good few hours there. You can tell it's been a while because uh, my mic's run out of charge. Um, so this is just off the camera. But I think, you know, in a comparison with how that looked this morning, and that chain and sprocket is just 
spankers absolute spankers right brill happy with that we're getting there people uh, stay tuned um tomorrow's activity if i get the time uh, will be to mount the nose cone and the side fairings um, and we should be cooking on gas uh, and the bike oh and once that's once these are off to give this a little bit of a clean up uh, not going for a mirror i just want it cleaner um, get everything mounted get it on and then i should have a, a cracking looking bike with a shitty tank <laughs> that'll be next right cool that'll do me for now cheers all i'll catch later on